Hello and welcome back to the Notable Norse. So last time we had absolute chaos. There was wars left, right and centre. There was people attacking from all over. But now we have a moment to think, a moment of calm. And with this moment of calm, we can realise that actually we didn't lose quite as much as it seems like we lost in the previous uh, episode. So what did we lose? Well, as of this moment, we lost Frisia. We knew that was going to happen. East Francia, we knew that was going to happen. We lost no other land, because although this part is technically Frisia, apparently, I don't know why that's Frisia, but we didn't really lose that land. That land was already gone. There was no way for us to get it back unless we created the Kingdom of Frisia, turned it into Scandinavian elective, voted for the person that we wanted to be in charge, and all of that sort of stuff. But that would have taken money, which, as you can see, we just don't have. So, we, we, that was kind of already a sunk cost by the start of last episode. So, in my view, what we really lost, because we didn't lose any land, was about 500 gold. Which is very reasonable, you know? That's, that's actually fine. I'm happy with that. Although we are probably going to lose, realistically, like another 200 gold in this next war. If not more. But that's fine. The next war being this war down here. The Holmgarther, or Holm, uh, Garther claim on the Duchy of Ireland. So, basically Iceland up here. Um, so, yeah, we're going to lose some money on that war. But otherwise, we didn't lose that much. What is the plan after we get out of this war? Well, first things first, we need to get our money back to neutral. If we can get our money back to neutral, we can declare other wars. After that, we do have some claims on Kingdom of Frisia, East Francia, West Riding, North Riding, East Riding. There's a lot of stuff we have claims on, so I want to do those claims. And uh, I could check them, but we currently have raised troops. Was Vastor Gotland not part of my land? Did that break free, or did I never actually have it? Um, I, there's no way of telling. I thought that was part of our land at one point. Yeah, I think it was. I don't know why it's not part of our land, but it doesn't matter. It might have been part of Denmark, this particular bit of Vastergotland, so maybe it broke free or something. Anyway, doesn't really matter. So our troops are currently starving. Do I take them straight over here and attack? I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. Uh, because I want to get the war done as quickly as possible. So let's just go for it. Oh, also merge all of the troops. <laughs> just for just now. It's going to cost us money we don't have to get on the boats, which is fine. We're going to be heavily in debt, but this is also fine. The other thing that we could do is we could potentially call people into this war. We could take concubines and all of that sort of stuff, but I just want the war to be over, essentially. Are we going to win? It thinks we're going to win. Now, are we leading this army? We are indeed. So we get the us leading the army bonus. Yeah, all of that sort of stuff. Not a lot we can do about it, but we won anyway. Hey, we have a daughter named Sarah. Hey, potentially another ally. Plus five, you want a white piece? Minus three. Okay, so... Where do you have troops going? I don't really want to get on the boats, <laughs> if I'm honest with you. Uh, I, I really don't want to get on the boats. Where are you going? Where, where, where's your army from? Because these guys are linked to the top army. So what la what's your actual land? You're not retreat- are you retreating all the way over there? No, you must be retreating to, like, here. Right? Yeah, you must be retreating to, like, there. Let's have a look. Let's follow up. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind, cancel, cancel, don't spend money on the boats. Never mind, I have to. Okay, I'm sitting around the map table of Duke Balder and Duke Thornstein, discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Balder eagerly points out all of the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to pillage. Excuse me, we don't have that anymore. While Thornstein uh, uh, nervously mutters about how we should avoid unnecessary engagements and fight a war of attrition. It is my right to decide the ultimate course of action. Well, because we have High Marshal, I can just say, let's have both. Which seems pretty good to me. Right, speed it up. We're going to spend 14 gold. Yeah, so it's cost us about 200 gold for this war. Yeah, pretty much what I thought it would cost us. I will take my white piece. Cool. Right, we need a new marshal. Uh, any of you good at marshal? No. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to put that guy in charge. Because we need somebody to reinforce our troops. Right, let's just end the war. Thank you. Right, now I'm going to disband our troops. Yeah, I know it's going to take them a while to come back, but that's okay. 
Camp dispute. After my army sets up camp, I hear a commotion coming from my champion's lodgings. Investigating the disturbance, I find Duke Sven and Thrafrin in the middle of a heated argument while several onlookers edge them on. I have a thing about unity, whip them for the delinquency or go to my tent. Ah, uh, I'll just take the hit. Yeah, I don't need them to be mad at me right now. I can ransom this guy for 45 gold. Definitely necessary. Okay, we're now making 2.1 a month. I have a new heir. Who's my new heir? I clicked it away. Is Scully. Is Scully the person I'm voting for? I don't believe he is, <laughs> but that's okay. Let me have a look. Active elections. I'm voting for Balder. He's rank one in this one, so I actually need to vote for Scully. Uh, Scully. Why are you not voting for Balder? Uh, you're voting for him because he has a strong claim, he's a soldier, all that sort of stuff. Uh, that's fine. Okay, where's Scully? Scully, Scully. Where are you, Scully? There we are, my brother. Okay, that seems fine. Oh, I wanted to go back to the same place in the list. I vote for my brother. I vote for my brother. I vote for my brother. So he's now rank one, rank two, and rank one. I bet he's gonna hit a higher rank on this one in a second as well. Right, we're making two a month. That's way too slow. Why? Well, it's costing us all this money. And at arms. I guess we're just not making that much money right now, and we are reinforcing quite a lot, so... Yeah, maybe that's it. People probably don't like me yet, either. Adopt special succession type! Uh, What's my title? Okay... I'm interested. So, you may pick from a tr form of traditional elective succession based on your culture be applied to any of your top rank titles using partition succession. My top rank title is not using partition succession. It's using Scandinavian elective. Oh, is it because I have the Kingdom of Scotland? It must be because I have Scotland. Yeah, yeah, so it must be because I have Scotland. So this is going to change Scotland to Scandinavian elective, right? Yeah, yeah. I should do that. Definitely. Okay, so now we can at least put Scully in line for that one as well. Can I vote for Scully? Uh, yeah, there we go. Now, I might not win because a lot of people don't like him, but still, that's fine. Uh, determine personal deity? Yeah, we can do that. What do I need? I need something that makes me make more money, so probably uh, Thor, I think? Thor seems good. Yep, we're going with Thor. That'll give us a little bit more stewardship, so a little bit more money. I can take concubines, which will give us more prestige. Uh, yeah, okay. And potentially get us more children. Let's find some concubines. Do I have anyone? I have a prisoner called Sick. Uh, okay. She seems fine. Um, I also have a prisoner named Thora. Yeah, also has a good trait. Let's go with that. Uh, and I don't have anyone else immediately. Okay, okay. Right. I'm not joining in on this war, because there's no reason for me to be in that war. We have a maximum of 3,500 troops. Uh, let me just have a look at Frisia for a second. Uh, I just want to see... Can't declare war in one debt. I just wanted to look at the wars. They're defending against a whole bunch, and that's kind of going to... That's going to be our biggest problem, is land being lost. Actually, East Francia would be great if we can attack it soon, because they are going to be weaker than us. But, yeah, we need to wait for that. Anyway, there's nothing I can do except for wait for money. Like, literally, that's my only play. Um, I could change this over to something else, like maybe Wealth Focus and then Golden Obligations at some point, but... Yeah, um, we can't change it for another three years, so... Basically, just gotta hope we randomly get money. Maybe if I change you to Manage Domain as well? How much are you providing right now? Yeah, I'll change you to manage domain. So we're making an extra 0 0.1. Oh, that'll make the difference. Oh, my brother died. My brother, who held what land? He held East Riding. Who's East Riding gone to then? Uh, East Riding is currently held by my nephew. Ah, okay. Well, that makes sense. He is sickly though. Who, who gets after my nephew? 
My niece. Does it go to me at any point? No, it goes to Frizia first. Ah, uh, well, there you go. Hey, we're making 2.4. We're making the next with 0.1. Uh, nice. Uh, I spent time with a friend and lost some stress. And now we're just basically trying to um, earn some money. Is my capital fully fully controlled up? Okay. Hey, we did finish our Grand Temple at some point, which gives us extra taxes. Let's have a look. Why am I making so little? So I'm making 5 from my domain. So that makes sense there. 3.4 from Vassal. 0 0.2 from Church. Is somebody not providing me my due? That's the question. Uh, like what? What? Let's see. Who's provide? Not providing me my money. Uh, my, let's see. You. Uh, contribution is only ten percent. So yeah, you are providing me the money. Let's try to think whether I can trade up with these people and modify their contract and say, I actually just want the money out of you. He's gonna be really unhappy with us. He currently likes us quite a lot. Yeah, due to opinion of predecessor and implemented traditional succession law is actually fantastic. Um, hmm. I can't change you to any of these because I don't have them yet. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm going to say that I need more levies from you. Do I just modify it with a straight negative 15 opinion hit? It's tyranny unless I give him something. Let's sanction his war declaration. That's not tyranny, it's just minus 10. Yeah. Let's do that to everybody if I can. Yeah, you can have that, but you have to pay me more. That's fine. You? Same deal. You can have that, but you have to pay me more. Uh, I just changed you. Toasty, same thing. Pay me more. That's there. We're just trying to make every little bit of money that we can out of these people. Uh, you're currently providing me nothing. Why is that? Because your contribution is currently 2%. Uh, no. How about we turn that up? Yeah. Yeah, we still get plus 10 overall, but now he's actually providing me any money? That's good. Yeah. Yeah, 2% seems a little low, you know? <laughs> Doesn't really seem like you're providing me a fair uh, amount. There we go. We're up at 4.1 already just from doing this. It's going to make people dislike me rather a lot, but you know what? That's okay. I just need the, uh, <laughs> I need the money. Uh, and get, this is going to significantly speed it up. Yeah, we're making like an extra, oh, I can't change anything to do with you. Okay, so I'm making like an extra, um, what's that, an extra two gold a month? That's not bad, that's like double the speed. It's something we can work with. Also, any random money we get in the corner is based off your income. So that'd be good. Um, is there anything else I can do to earn income? I'm just like, is there anything I could do? I mean, I could kill off people probably and that would give me income, but I could get rid of some of our men at arms, but that also seems like a bad plan. Oh yeah, also once our men at arms recharge, that's gonna earn us more money because we're not gonna be spending money recharging our men at arms. They're currently going up at zero per month because we're negative. So I guess actually we wouldn't earn more money. We'd just, yeah, we wouldn't earn more money because <laughs> they're not going up right now. My brother died, slain in battle. It was Prince Tolier of Norway. Okay, so what does he hold? North Riding. Okay, so that's over here. Brother was taken prisoner. Oh, that's Frisia. Well, they're about to lose whatever war that was. Uh, what war is this? So, uh, Oplander claim on uh, Bergeslagen. Okay. Uh, I don't know where that is, but I'm about to find out. Uh, yeah, Duchy. Oh, this one up here. Wait, Oplander? Is that my vassal then? Is that what we were getting at? Wait, or is that this bit? Wait. Yeah, what, what bit of land did we just lose? Yeah, this must be the bit of land. My vassal must have just taken this, right? Yeah. So my vassal actually just took some land off of Frisia, so that's absolutely fine. Yeah, you know what? That's 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 good. <laughs> that's just a straight up positive for us. Okay. We're almost making five a month now. Who are you? Novgorod. You'd like me to join your war as a defender. I accept. I mean, let's be honest, mate, I have no money, so I'm not gonna be joining your war, but that's fine. Somebody's trying to murder Saga. Show me who it is so I can uh Oh, you discovered a secret? 
Uno's attempted murder secret. Can I uh, righteously imprison you? <laughs> uh, it's tyranny. If I expose a secret, though, it won't be tyranny. Yeah. I'm going to expose the secret. Now I have a reason to imprison her, right? No. Attempted murder isn't a suitable reason to imprison someone? Um, why? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Also, I guess because our crown authorities dropped in the Kingdom of Norway down to bottom. Um, yeah, I guess because it's... Wait, did we not? I guess we had higher crown authority when we were um, tribal. Yeah, that was probably it. I was going to think, does that lower... Is that what lowering my uh, taxes a little bit? But I guess not. Um, okay. Well, I revealed the secret, but it didn't really seem to do very much. Okay, my mother died. Did she leave me anything? No, she left me 0 0.4 gold because I'm no longer paying for a spy master. Well, goodbye. No, I thought that was I thought that was because I must have been because I was paying for a spy master. I guess not. We get loyalty and respect, so we get more skills from counselor tasks, knight effectiveness, natural dread and control growth, or Cass's belly cost. I'm gonna take Cass's belly cost because I'm planning on switching in two years. We have a son. Uh, named, um, Percy. Cool. Hey, we're under 200 gold. Also, we're making more money. <laughs> nice. These guys still haven't reinforced, but that's okay. I have a daughter named Sig. Cool. Hey, we gained 150 prestige. Completely useless, but there we go. Caesar's Triumph. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was amused to learn about Julius Caesar's exploits during his conquest of Gaul. During his siege of Alessia, Caesar determined that direct assault on the well-fortified city would be too costly. He instead ordered his army build his own fortress which surrounded the entire city, trapping the enemy garrison inside to starve while simultaneously preventing reinforcements from relieving the defenders. I get military engineer, which is good. Make the enemy come to you, I like it. Or, you took a risk and it paid off. Or, uh, wars just aren't fought like that these days. I think Unyielding Defender sounds good. Lowering my casualties actually sounds fantastic. Yeah, I don't care if it gives me stress. I think that's the correct option here. My brother has created a cadet branch called Edisborg. What? Dare to be industrious. Yeah, industrially taking the land that I worked for. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Um, anyway. Hey, we're making 5.3 now. It's not bad. <laughs> We're getting there. A faction against us uh, disbanded. Good to see. Money is continuing to come in faster and faster at 5.5. Okay. I'm liking that. I think recovering from the war as well is helping our entire land uh, recover, is, uh, which is helping our money come up. A parade of local uh, of important locals from Nithoros have spent a day trooping through my hall, each one with a unique grievance against my weak Scothi uh, Kajartan. Some complain about his behavior, others his honor, but all agree on one thing, he's a disgrace to the court. The unwashed mashes call for nothing less than declaration of nithing. Cast him out. I can banish him. Say he's blameless, or this isn't a matter for the king. Um, he gains nithing, he stops endorsing me, but he's banished, so what do I care? I get extra holding taxes? Yeah, banish him. Okay. Hey, we're making an extra 1.5. Oh, because you like me more, so you're paying me more. Ah, I like it. Definitely good to get rid of them. Yeah, we're almost up at... Yeah, we're making seven a month now. Surety of supply. Part of commanding an army means making sure my soldiers have plenty of food, drink, and camp gear for long campaigns. To this end, I should come up with a plan for ensuring my soldiers always have the supplies they need in the field. Get well-provisioned armies. Stockpile. <laughs> with what money? But they can forage. Uh, Forge. Sure. That sounds good. Question of loyalty. You might be betraying me. You will tell me. The child is yours. Uh, okay. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I was mainly hoping I could imprison her and ransom her. Although, I would have to imprison her lover and ransom them. Hey! You gained some opinion of me. It's nice to see. <gasps> Additional taxes of 90, my steward! You've come through at last. Aha! I can declare wars now. 
Probably not the best time. We're also now losing money because all of my re things are reinforcing. So we're, we're not quite there yet, but... Uh, oh, I can actually check wars now. Like against Frisia. Uh, I'm in debt. Never mind. Wait, wait a month. There we go. Now I can check wars against Frisia. So I could do from my claim on Frisia. Perfect. So I don't need to do anything. It only cost me 75 prestige. Wonderful. We are slowly losing uh, <laughs> money, but that's okay. If we get another random positive thing, that'd be good. I have another son named uh, uh, Hafran. Okay. Or Hafran. Uh, do I have any other prisoners I can get rid of for any particular reason? Like, you want to pay me money? <laughs> well, not except. Don't want to. Okay. And I can just start executing. I have no problem executing. There we go. Execute. 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 How old are you now? 16. Hey, you want to join uh, the good side? You've been in our land long enough. We'll recruit you and you you uh, become my religion. Also, we'll then take your claim on Frisia somewhere. See what he feels. Yeah, he's on my side now. Nice. Hey, we're making 7.4 every second month. It's not bad. These guys are reinforcing by 50 every second month, so they will reinforce eventually. Yeah, look at that. They, it's just every second month. Why? Why? What would you want? The county of what now? Where's this pathetic little bit of, where's this pathetic bit of land that you want? Where is it? No, where, where, where's the land? Uh, no, 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 no. Exact opposite of what I wanted to do actually. Yeah, yeah, get rid of them. Who are you? Uh, wait. The Northman army conquest of something? Is this something I'm... Oh, yeah, that's Novgorod. That's fine. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about that one. This one. You want this tiny bit of land. Sure. Yeah. I, I honestly, like, the land's worth nothing. <laughs> Do I want to spend... Like, you know, a couple hundred gold to win a piece of garbage. Who are you? You won the Earldom of Buchan. Uh. No. <laughs> how, how strong are you? You have 8,000. Where do you have 8,000 troops from? <laughs> Just out. It's because you're tribal. Of course. Because you're tribal. You know, I almost had my uh, troops reinforced. I don't know if you knew that. Um. Is it time to call in my uh, <laughs> my debts? Yeah, I think it is. All right, or call in my uh, my allies, I should say. There we go. I will spend my. Uh, actually, I don't have to spend anything to do this. They'll just join. That's nice of them. Right, and now I can call dynasty members. I lose renown for doing this, but hey, you know what? Uh, if you say yes, it's fine. Arnsberg and Frisia. Let's see how many people join. Nice. Hey, I'm making money, and I think that we've reinforced our troops. Uh, not quite, but we've almost reinforced all of them. Wonderful. How many... Uh, I gained a favor hook on this person. Luckily, I didn't do something stupid. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Uh, wait, with that favor hook, can I do anything? I don't know, modify your feudal contract? So you pay me extortionate amounts of taxes with my hook? No, okay, fine. Uh, how many people are in this one? I've got, tw got 12,000 including my six. Okay. Well, I'll let my vassals get, not my vassals, my allies get there first while I earn some more money. Okay, we won, nice. Hey, you know what that means? That means you're uh, free to join this war, huh? Just as I joined your war. New marshal needed. We'll put in a uh, carry. Okay. Try and reduce our men at arms costs temporarily. I just need to earn some money. 
How many people do I have on my side now? 17,000. So yeah, we are more even without our um, troops being accounted uh, for. That's okay. They're starting to siege down the land. I'm happy with that. Yeah, they're getting a bit swarmed. Nice. Good win. Good win. I got another one here. Oh, I can switch as well now. Perfect. So I should take one more of these and then switch. Let's take sh uh, Chivalric Dominance. Switch on to Wealth Focus and try and just hold on to some money. Okay. Right, now we're making 10 a month. It's not bad. Not bad. Okay, uh, I probably want to raise my troops. Let's raise them up the top here. And see what we can do this. Um, right. Let's head up here. Okay, raise all here. And just let them raise. This is fine. We want to fight. Uh, and we want it to be us. I could re recruit this guy, but I don't really need to. He's pretty good, though. Uh, paying for war. Uh, I can collect additional war taxes. I could also get some extra stuff there. Let's get some extra war taxes. Yeah, chase down their army. Still thinks I was going to win. Uh, invalidated. Aha! Purely a skillful move on my part to win the war. Haha! -ha. Yes, fantastic. I can hold a blot. Yeah, I don't have the money for that. Guardian for Sarah. Sarah, um, you, you're doing some intrigue? Okay, there you go. There's Guardian. Love it. Love it. Um, okay, cool. On pause. Right. Now we can chill for a second or two, earn our, our troops back. And then maybe attack East Francia, who is currently in two wars. Defending against two uh, internal wars, you only have 900 troops. This might be the perfect time to attack East Francia. Just take it back. And once we have East Francia, we have our income back. How much money do you have? <laughs> that's, that's the next question. 91. Oh, man. Let's go. It is the war of the people of no money. Uh, do I have somewhere I can raise my troops down here without having to pay? No, I think I have to pay to cross the sea no matter what I do. Uh, also looks like this land's become independent from Frisia. I think Frisia's having a hard time of it. But you know what? To be fair, given that I gave them nothing to start with. Bad blood! Okay. Do I want to recruit Fasty? Sure. Sounds good to me. Right, uh, we can call in people to this war. You and anything else? No, I'll call you in. I'll probably do. Right, we'll head out this way. Uh, yep, they're gonna join in. Nice. We now have so many more troops than them, it's not even funny, so. Yeah, they have 900 and we have um, like 10,000 troops. So we should be fine. Uh, I'm gonna send you here. Yeah, we'll take the attrition. It's not that much. And just start sieging down. Do I have a leader on both of these? Uh, we have one leader. We have two leaders. Anyone like good at leading, uh, like sieges? We have one who's further down, but I think we're fine. Okay, now we just siege. There's our ally who is also sieging. Cool. A better contract. My chancellor approaches me with a space with a patient smile. I'd appreciate it if we could renegotiate my contract, my king. Any improvement would, of course, be met with enthusiasm from my treasury or my lands. I can get a piece of land off of you? Or 50 gold? I'll take the piece of land, thanks. So what bit of land did we just get? I mean, it was, a, like, it's garbage land, but still, I'll have it. It's land. <laughs> we're, we're now, we now have two of six. Yeah, okay. His feudal taxes probably weren't worth that much. That's okay. Uh, we captured a prisoner. Ransom. Hey, 18 gold. Old comes of age. Uh, she's already betrothed. That's fine. Uh, you're going to head down to Lundberg. 
Okay, make me more money. Oh, capture more prisoners, a whole bunch of prisoners. Ooh, lots of money. Uh, you just hang out here. You don't even need to do anything. You're set, nice. Get another 15 gold. Hey, how about another uh, 75 gold? We're, we've actually made money off of this war so far. Nice, I don't think they have any more money. Uh, we will send a proposal for the marriage, which has been accepted. Nice, um, I can call in my new ally. Don't need to, but that's okay. Uh, why did you break the siege? I'm not entirely sure. I'll join in. You know what? Then then you'll do the siege. He doesn't. He just doesn't have any troops. <laughs> so even if he sent troops up here, what's he going to do with them? Just going to stare at us? Um, you take attrition going that way? Yeah, let's go do what the AI does and stand on the... Uh, yeah, st stand on uh, top of other armies. My daughter. Uh, my daughter is called called, I don't know, uh, Saga, sure. This is about to finish, so we can move them one along. The nice thing is I think we also get money after we finish a siege as well. Like just purely for finishing it, we get money. Yeah, we do. So we, we can kind of infinitely fund the war as long as we can keep sieging. Also 45 gold plus an extra 150 gold. Look at this. This is the way to play the game. You just constantly go to war siege and make money for doing no work whatsoever it's great look at that another 45 gold coming right up sir all right uh marshall uh you there we go sick what have you got sig is doing diplomacy but it kind of looked like she should be doing this but i, I guess diplomacy is fine um let's see yeah again my wife she seems good at educating. To the impeccable bloody bloody blah sure. White rust, they're not gonna attack us. Therefore I don't need to care, essentially. <laughs> if they're not gonna attack us, it's like, you know, whatever. I just don't need to worry about it. Whether they're in the war or not makes no difference to me. Hey, we're about to finish the siege. Hey, thanks for suiciding into me there, mate. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the free war score. Uh, we finished another siege. Let's head over here. Finish this siege. Back down this way. Okay. Spread out. Continue earning money from this. Great. I don't care if we're, we're out of supplies. They're going to keep suiciding into me. I'm going to keep uh, sieging down, earning money. Stewardship perk. Hey, you know what? Let's get some of that golden obligations going on. We got anybody who we got a secret on? Uh, yes, we do. Let's do a little bit of blackmail. Wonderful. You want to give me money? Ah, great. 50 gold. Uh, don't mind if I do. Right. Uh, here. I can demand a payment from you as well. Hey, I'll take my 50 gold. Oh, we're, we're now super rich, comparatively. Right. We're winning more battles. We're winning more sieges. Uh, don't need to do anything there. Just continue sieging down. My allies are sieging. I'm sieging. They are taking some land in here, which is a little annoying, but I can go over there and beat them up. Yeah, do it. Go over there and beat them up. Uh, you're going to keep heading in further. Nice. Uh, King Yuri formed a new alliance. Who's that? Of White Russ. Oh, do not care at all. Prisoners can be ransomed. Duke Arnold. Fantastic. Matthias. Countess Christina. Look at that, the money rolls right back in. Okay, we're at 95, you don't want to surrender? No, you're minus four though, which is good because it means that you're not like minus five. You're not, um, you need me to get 100% war score. You need me to get like any war score and you're in basically. I mean, it's almost 100, but the difference between 99 and 100 is nice. Okay. Uh, nephew taken prisoner, do not care, we're at 99. Apparently it, it does matter, the difference between 99 and 100, as it turns out. Alright, just follow them in. Wait, are we capped from battle? Yeah, okay. We're about to win this one. Commander promoted, I'll take anyone who you've, who's got legs, to be honest. I mean, that's actually optional, they only really need one leg. 
Um, we, we can fix the other one on. There we are. Right. Enforcer demands. We now hold East Francia, which is great. Uh, we can transfer people around, which I'll do right away. Cool. You're losing a war. The Nordgaard claim on the county of Bamberg. Uh, I don't really ha I have some troops I could use for this. Let's move you down here. See what I can do about this. County of Bamberg. You know what, actually? Nah, see ya. Not worried. I'd much rather lose two counties than have to worry about the war. Yeah. Cool. Much rather do that and then look for the next war rather than worry about, like, dealing with that war. Okay. So now we could just declare war on Frisia and then we pretty much have our land back. Oh, also, while we're here, uh, adopt special succession type. Yeah, uh, and we can switch East Francia to Scandinavian elective for 300 prestige. If I'd known that option existed, that would have changed how things went. Uh, oh, I'm in the wrong column. That's why I can't find who I'm looking for. Uh, I would like it to go to... Uh, where is he? My brother? My brother? Brother? I must have missed him. Give me another second. Yeah, there we go. My brother Schooley. Perfect. He's number one. Let me have a look at my successions right now. He is going to get Norway. Yeah, so he is going to get Norway, Scotland, East Francia. Cool. We can get Frisia and then we're, then we're set. We just need to do that. Perfect. Well, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. Next time we have 700 gold. We'll take it to Frisia and then we're back where we were. Uh, except everything is on elective and things are looking better for us. Uh, just a little check. How far are we off early medieval? Seven months. Cool. So we should probably get um, partition not that far into uh, the next couple of episodes as well. Which will get me roughly where I want to be. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.